Obviously, they represent uh, the sun's and the moon's position in the sky, and the moon also shows the phases of the moon. So there is half silver, half black side to the moon. Uh, we can also see that there are uh, two dials, the smaller one on the top of the big one. Well, the smaller dial represents the constellations of the stars in the sky, and it shows which one it is at this time of the year. On the top dial, starting from the center, there is a globe surrounded by three golden circles. The smallest one represents the Tropic of the Capricorn, the middle one the Equator, and the biggest one, the largest one, represents the Tropic of the Cancer. This is related to the Sun's position on the dial, that's how they read it. And there are two sets of numbers, the outermost one, the one in Arabic numerals, that's the ancient Slavic time. The ancient Slavic time was 24 hours still, the day hasn't changed that much since then. However, uh, instead of counting the hours, the only difference is that they started counting the hours from 5 p.m. So from the average time of sunset. Also, there is another set of numbers, the one in Roman numerals. That one represents our 24-hour system, especially the one that we use over here in Europe. Uh, you, however, you can see that there's one hour difference between our time and the clock, and that's because uh, the clock doesn't count for daylight savings. So during the summer, there's one hour difference. Okay. We can see that there are two sets of figures. The topmost one, uh, this came with the clock with its construction, and they represent vices or what people hated at the time and spoilers ahead well it's gonna get a bit racist uh, starting with a skeleton that represents death next to it there's a man holding a music instrument and that represents the infidel worldly pleasures but at the same time the turk because people didn't like the turks at the time and also on the other side well there is a man holding a bag of money that represents the jew and the figure over there got a bit of a politically correct shave during the 20th century because the communists shaved its beard. Mm -hmm. And the last figure over there is a man holding a mirror that represents vanity. And the lower figures, well, they were added to the clock 80 years later from its construction and they represent virtues or what people appreciated at the time. The angel represents justice, next to it there's the poet, on the other side there's the astronomer and there's the philosopher. And also on the lower dial down there, we can see 12 pictures. These represent the 12 months of the year and what you could be doing during these months. So maybe sowing crops, harvesting crops, etc. And on the outer edge, in the blue circle, you can see 365 names. This, uh, this is the Czech saint's name calendar. And people actually in ancient times named their children after it. However, this tradition is not worked with anymore. Czechs, however, still have two anniversaries for themselves. They have their birthday and their names day, so they're kind of very lucky. Also, well, if you can still read the clock, I can't really blame you. However, there are two normal regular clocks on each side over there, right and left, and there's one regular one at the top in the tower. I'm sure these are much easier to read. Uh, from here, we're gonna go and take a look at the State Theater. 